Hello everybody, welcome back to the holiday card series. Today I'm using Elfish Antics and Yappy Happy Mail by Heffy Doodle. Heffy Doodle sent me these goodies to play with, so I'm excited to include them in the holiday series this year. So for the first card that I'm going to make with the Elfish Antics, I am going to do another one later this week using uh, both of the elves in the set to make a fun little scene card. But for this one, I thought it would be fun to coordinate the little girl elf with the Yappy Happy Mail set to send a crafty Happy Merry Mail card. I thought this would be adorable to send to crafty friends. So I'm going to color up this elf with a pink dress, my favorite pink combination. If you have been around for a while, you know that I love the R85, the R83, and the R81. So I'm going to use pinks and reds for this card, and then I'm gonna color, color the little dog in some brown tones. So I'm using red to accent her dress here and the little band on her, uh, hat as well as her cute little booties. I'm going to do the color on the dog red and then I'm going to color the mailbox red. Our mailboxes used to be red in Canada. We don't have ones, well we don't have very many like these anymore. I think we still have a few of the red ones around so I thought it would be fun to color it red and it also obviously goes with the whole Christmas holiday theme. So I realized after I started coloring this, I have been coloring mostly darkest to lightest lately, but with the red, I really should have gone over the whole mailbox in the lightest color, which is the R24, to get a better blend. Because I went darkest to lightest, I do have to go over this a couple times to get it blended smoothly. You can see here there's quite a bit of difference between the darker colors and the lighter colors. So here we're, here is where I'm going back over with the darkest, bringing in the medium, which is R29, and the darkest that I used was the R39. But I do get a smooth blend once I complete this second coat here. And it looks like a fun, shiny red mailbox. But if you're going to recreate this card, I definitely suggest going lightest to darkest with the mailbox. So I am going to just do this little line on the mailbox using my Memento Tuxedo Black Marker. And here I'm going to color the dog. I'm using E27, E25, and E23. It gives a nice chocolate brown color kind of like a Cocker Spaniel, I guess, was kind of what I was thinking when I was coloring up this card. These little elves are just absolutely adorable, and I believe the recent release from Heffy Doodle has a compliment sent to the Elfish Antics stamp set. So I decided to color her hair in brown as well so it would match the dog and I didn't have to bring any other colors in. I am going to do a little bit of shading on the white areas but I do end up adding something to the white so I really didn't need to do that. Here's the images colored so I will cut those out with my brother Scan and Cut. I made a little mask here for myself just out of some 110 pound heavyweight cardstock. I just used a stitched circle die from MFT to do that. Now I'm going to lay this stencil over top. This is the English Brick Stencil by MFT. And I'm going to be using Distress Oxides in Tattered Rose Worn Lipstick and Barn Door. I wanted to bring out the pinks and the reds that I used in the images. I just love pink and red for Christmas. So this will give me a circular pattern of brick wall on my card panel. And once I get that complete, I do like to go over with the lightest color with the brick wall stencil 
just to blend in so those white lines aren't so stark white. So here's what my card panel is going to look like. I'm just kind of trying to soften the edges here. I'm going to use the sentiment from the Yappy Happy Mail. And it said, I think it says sending a card full of love and so I'm just going to cut that off and I'm going to use the Mary sentiment from the Alfish Antics. So it says sending a card full of Mary and then on the inside I think I'm just going to stamp Christmas. I didn't stamp anything yet on the inside but I'm thinking that's what the sentiment will say when I complete the inside of the card. So I'm going to heat emboss this with some clear embossing powder just to give it a little bit of something extra on the card. I'm going to adhere this panel down to my card base. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half card base, so an A2 size card. So here's where I'm going to grab out my Marvy snow marker or snow pen and I'm going to go over the little white parts on her sleeves and the bottom of her dress. I did forget to do the little tops of her booties, but I will go back and do that off camera. So you can see there the snow pops up and it gives it a nice fuzzy texture. I'm going to adhere all my elements down on the card panel. I'm going to just use my liquid glue here. I'm not going to pop anything up. This will be a really thin, easy card to pop in the mail to hopefully brighten someone's day. And I just love how it looks like the little dog is so excited to be sending their friend some merry mail this Christmas or holiday season. So for some final touching, well details, final last touches, I guess is what I was trying to say, I'm going to add some stickles in Candy Cane. These have uh, red glitter and a little bit of gold glitter, so I'm using it on the portion of her hat. Here's Piper checking to see what I'm creating. She came back a couple times. I'm going to use it on her collar and on her booties and on the little stamp for the envelope. Oh, here's where I go back and touch up the little white parts of her booties to finish off the card. And that's the card for today. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Bye.